Welcome to Motive Emistery, where the wisdom of the ages meets the challenges of today. In today's video, we delve into the life and legacy of Benjamin Franklin, one of the most influential founding fathers of the United States. Franklin was not only a key figure in the birth of America, but also a man of diverse talents and accomplishments. He was an inventor, scientist, diplomat, writer, and printer. His inventions and scientific contributions, including the lightning rod and bifocal glasses, have left a lasting impact on society. As a writer, he is best known for Poor Richard's Almanac and his witty, wise aphorisms that are still quoted today. Beyond his scientific and literary achievements, Franklin was a champion of liberty and a visionary in shaping the American ethos. Explore with us 30 of his most memorable quotes that reflect his wisdom, humor, and enduring influence in our modern world. Either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. Benjamin Franklin, one of America's founding fathers and a prolific writer and inventor, lived in an era where the written word and notable actions shaped history. His life, filled with significant accomplishments and written works, embodies this quote's essence. This quote encapsulates the importance of contributing to the world, whether through intellectual or actionable means. It emphasizes the value of leaving a lasting impact, either by sharing knowledge through writing or by performing deeds worth recording for future generations. In our current digital age, where information and actions are constantly shared and scrutinized, Franklin's words remind us of the enduring power of meaningful contributions. Whether it's through social media, blogs, or community actions, his advice encourages us to focus on creating or doing something that positively influences others and stands the test of time. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. This quote comes from Benjamin Franklin's cynical observation of human nature, particularly the difficulty of maintaining secrecy. It reflects his wit and understanding of the complexities of human relationships. The essence of this quote is the challenge of trust and confidentiality among people. It humorously yet pointedly highlights the reality that secrets are often hard to keep within groups. In today's world of widespread information sharing and social media, this quote serves as a reminder of the importance of discretion and the potential fragility of trust. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. Franklin's words reflect his belief in active and experiential learning over passive reception of information. This quote emphasizes the effectiveness of engaging and participatory methods in education. The quote's essence lies in the understanding that real learning occurs through active involvement and practical experience, rather than mere memorization. Its relevance today is evident in educational philosophies that prioritize hands-on learning and critical thinking, essential in our rapidly evolving world. They who can give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. This quote from Franklin is a profound statement on the balance between liberty and security. It reflects his deep commitment to personal freedom and skepticism about sacrificing it for temporary comfort. The essence of this quote is the warning against the dangers of compromising fundamental freedoms for short-term safety. It champions the idea that true security cannot exist without liberty. Its relevance today is seen in debates over privacy and security, reminding us to be vigilant in protecting our fundamental rights. He that can have patience can have what he will. This quote reflects Benjamin Franklin's understanding of the power of patience and persistence in achieving goals. He often emphasized the importance of these virtues in personal and professional success. The essence of this quote lies in recognizing that with patience, one can eventually realize their aspirations, as time often brings about the right opportunities and results. Its relevance today is seen in our fast-paced world, where patience is often overlooked, yet it remains a key factor in long-term success. You may delay, but time will not. Franklin's statement highlights the relentless and unstoppable nature of time, emphasizing the importance of using time wisely and not procrastinating. The essence here is the inevitability of time's progression and the need to make the most of every moment. In today's world, this quote reminds us to be mindful of how we spend our time, as it is a non-renewable resource in our lives. Many people die at 25 and aren't buried until they are 75. 
This poignant observation by Franklin suggests that many people stop pursuing new experiences and personal growth early in life, essentially leading a life lacking in vitality and change. Its essence is a call to live fully, continuously seek growth and embrace life's opportunities at every stage. The quote is highly relevant today, encouraging us to remain active, curious, and engaged with life, regardless of our age. A penny saved is a penny earned Franklin's adage encapsulates the principle of frugality and the value of saving. It conveys the idea that saving money is as valuable as earning it. Its essence lies in promoting financial prudence and the importance of being economical. In today's consumer-driven society, this quote is a timely reminder of the importance of financial management and the benefits of saving. In wine there is wisdom, in beer there is freedom, in water there is bacteria. This quote humorously highlights Franklin's views on alcoholic beverages, suggesting that each drink offers a different kind of experience or benefit. Its essence is a playful take on the virtues of different drinks, with a humorous nod to the potential risks of water at his time. Today, this quote resonates as a light-hearted reminder to enjoy life's pleasures, while being aware of the risks and rewards associated with our choices. Never ruin an apology with an excuse. This quote by Franklin emphasizes the importance of sincere apologies and taking responsibility for one's actions. It reflects his belief in honesty and accountability. Its essence is about the integrity of an apology and how excuses can diminish its value, teaching us the importance of true remorse and ownership of our mistakes. In today's culture, where excuses are often used to deflect blame, this quote reminds us of the power and respect garnered through genuine apology and accountability. We are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. Franklin's quote addresses the natural state of ignorance at birth and the conscious effort required to overcome it or remain in it. It underscores the value of learning and self-improvement. The essence of this quote lies in the notion that ignorance is not an inherent flaw, but remaining ignorant is a choice that hinders personal growth. This quote is relevant today, reminding us of the continuous effort needed to educate ourselves and grow, rather than settling for complacency. Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. This profound statement by Franklin calls for empathy and solidarity in the face of injustice. It suggests that true justice requires the collective outrage and action of both the affected and unaffected. The essence here is the universal responsibility towards justice and the need for a united stand against injustice, regardless of personal impact. In our current society, this quote resonates as a call to action for collective responsibility and activism, reminding us that indifference can perpetuate injustice. Fear not death for the sooner we die, the longer we shall be immortal. This quote reflects Franklin's perspective on mortality and the afterlife, suggesting a philosophical acceptance of death and the notion of immortality. The essence of this quote is the encouragement to embrace life and death as natural processes, with a hopeful outlook towards eternity. In today's context, this quote reminds us to live life fully without fear of death, understanding that our legacy can continue beyond our physical existence. I didn't fail the test, I just found 100 ways to do it wrong. This quote, often attributed to Franklin, highlights his approach to learning and innovation, seeing failures as opportunities to learn and improve. Its essence is about the positive perspective on failure, viewing each mistake as a step closer to success. Today, this quote inspires us to persist in the face of challenges, embracing failure as a necessary part of innovation and progress. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This Franklin quote underscores the significance of planning and preparation in achieving success. It reflects his practical approach to problem solving and goal achievement. The essence here is the recognition that success often requires forethought and meticulous planning, warning against complacency and underestimation of preparation. In our fast-paced world, this quote is a valuable reminder of the need for thorough preparation in all endeavors, be it personal, professional, or academic. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. This quote, 
similar to an earlier one, again encapsulates Franklin's strong belief in the importance of preserving liberty over temporary security measures. It reflects his commitment to freedom and his caution against sacrificing fundamental rights for short-term benefits. The essence of this quote is a warning about the dangers of compromising essential liberties in the name of temporary safety, advocating for the protection of fundamental freedoms. Its relevance today is evident in discussions about civil liberties and security, reminding us to carefully consider the long-term implications of our choices on freedom. Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Although a misquote, this humorous and widely attributed saying reflects the joy and appreciation that Franklin found in life's simple pleasures, like enjoying a good drink. Its essence, despite its inaccuracy, is a celebration of the small joys and comforts that life offers, promoting a positive outlook. Today, this quote, even as a misattribution, reminds us to appreciate and find happiness in the everyday, simple aspects of life. How many observe Christ's birthday? How few, his precepts? Franklin's observation here highlights the contrast between the widespread celebration of religious holidays and the actual practice of religious teachings and principles. The essence of this quote is a commentary on the disparity between professing faith and living according to its tenets, encouraging reflection on true adherence to one's beliefs. In today's context, it serves as a reminder to align our actions with our professed values and beliefs, beyond mere ritualistic observance. Being ignorant is not so much a shame as being unwilling to learn. This quote by Franklin underscores the distinction between lacking knowledge and the refusal to acquire it. It reflects his advocacy for continual learning and personal growth. The essence here is the encouragement to always be open to learning and evolving, rather than being ashamed of not knowing. In our current society, this quote emphasizes the importance of lifelong learning and the willingness to expand one's horizons, regardless of age or status. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Franklin's quote highlights the invaluable returns gained from investing in education and knowledge. It illustrates his belief in the power of education to improve one's life and society. The essence of this quote is the long-term value and benefits of acquiring knowledge, surpassing any material or financial investment. Today, this quote serves as a reminder of the importance of education and self-improvement as tools for personal and professional advancement. Well done is better than well said. This statement by Franklin values action over words, emphasizing the importance of actual performance and execution rather than just rhetoric or promises. The essence of this quote is the promotion of integrity and the demonstration of one's commitment through actions, not just words. In the contemporary context, it reminds us to value tangible achievements and results, fostering a culture of accountability and responsibility. Hide not your talents, they for use were made. What's a sundial in the shade? This quote by Franklin encourages the use and expression of one's abilities and talents. It suggests that hiding one's skills is as pointless as a sundial in the shade it serves no purpose. The essence of this quote is to inspire individuals to share and utilize their gifts, as they are meant to be active contributions to the world. In today's context, it reminds us to not undervalue our skills and to actively seek opportunities to contribute and shine. It is the first responsibility of every citizen to question authority. Franklin's statement emphasizes the importance of critical thinking and challenging established norms and authority. It reflects his belief in the necessity of questioning and evaluating leadership and governance. The essence here is the encouragement of civic engagement and the responsibility to hold authority accountable, promoting a healthy democratic society. In our current era, this quote reminds us of the importance of staying informed, questioning policies and decisions, and participating actively in societal discourse. Lost time is never found again. This aphorism by Franklin highlights the irreversible nature of time and the importance of using it wisely. It underscores his belief in the value of time management and productivity. The essence of this quote is a reminder that time is a finite resource and once passed, it cannot be reclaimed, thus, it should be utilized effectively. In today's fast-paced world, it serves as a crucial reminder to prioritize tasks, avoid procrastination, 
and make the most of the time we have. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. This quote, previously discussed, comes from Benjamin Franklin's cynical observation of human nature, particularly the difficulty of maintaining secrecy. It reflects his wit and understanding of the complexities of human relationships. The essence of this quote is the challenge of trust and confidentiality among people. It humorously yet pointedly highlights the reality that secrets are often hard to keep within groups. In today's world of widespread information sharing and social media, this quote serves as a reminder of the importance of discretion and the potential fragility of trust. If all printers were determined not to print anything till they were sure it would offend nobody, there would be very little printed. Franklin's quote addresses the issue of censorship and the freedom of the press. It illustrates his belief in the importance of free speech and the exchange of ideas, even if they might be controversial or offensive to some. The essence of this quote is a defense of the freedom of expression and a warning against the dangers of over-censorship. In today's context, it serves as a reminder of the need to balance free speech with sensitivity, while cautioning against excessive restrictions on expression. The Constitution only guarantees the American people the right to pursue happiness. You have to catch it yourself. This quote, often attributed to Franklin, reflects the American ideal of the pursuit of happiness as a fundamental right, while emphasizing personal responsibility in achieving it. The essence of this quote is the idea that while freedom and rights are provided, happiness and fulfillment are something one must actively work towards. It remains relevant today as a reminder that personal effort and initiative are crucial in making the most of the opportunities provided by freedom. Be at war with your vices, at peace with your neighbors, and let every new year find you a better man. This quote from Franklin highlights the importance of personal improvement, harmonious living with others, and the ongoing battle against one's own flaws. The essence of this quote is about self-reflection, continual self-improvement, and maintaining good relationships with others. Today, it serves as a reminder to balance personal development with social harmony and to strive for betterment with each passing year. Remember not only to say the right thing in the right place, but far more difficult still, to leave unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. Franklin's quote emphasizes the skill and restraint needed in communication, highlighting the importance of not only saying the right thing, but also knowing when to stay silent. The essence here is the wisdom of thoughtful speech and the power of discretion, particularly in challenging situations. In our modern world, this quote reminds us of the value of measured and considerate communication, especially in an era of instant and often impulsive digital interaction. Tis a great confidence in a friend to tell him your faults, greater to tell him his. Franklin's quote explores the dynamics of trust and honesty in friendships, emphasizing the difficulty and importance of providing constructive criticism to close ones. The essence is the value of candid and open communication in relationships, and the courage it takes to address not only one's own flaws but also those of friends. Today, this quote is a reminder of the importance of honesty and constructive feedback in maintaining healthy and meaningful relationships. Appreciation for joining our journey.